Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Legendary Iron Man Exquisite Timing with a little bit of permanent dark events thrown into the mix for good measure. My name is Saiken and we're going to play a Supply Raid today. Operation Cursed Wheel is upon us. Just to um, give you an overview about the overall situation, we are um, at April 5th, so one of the four months is already gone. We have expanded once and can do the Black Side mission, which we will do very soon. Uh, overall, the research has gone reasonably well. We determined that the biggest problem is going to be the intel supply, as well as probably the research. We're almost done with resistance radio, which is the next big uh, research, and we are creating a skull jack, which is also the next big thing on uh, the um, golden path. As you can see, complete the skull jack project and uh, then basically uh, use it on one of the advent officers. I am attempting to do that on the Black Side mission. That way, um, we're not losing any time between <clears throat> actually creating the skull jack and using it. It's kind of uh, seamless, so to speak. But we got to see how that overall is going to play out. Just one last thing to check. Uh, the GTS will take way longer. I was considering maybe to upgrade the squad before we go into... Um, the uh, facility, but probably we'll need to do it that way. For those of you uh, who haven't watched the other episodes, we basically need to just rush through the game in uh, four months. And we luckily uh, got a supply rate, so Operation Cursed Wheel is on its way. That means we are trying to get as much resources out of it as possible. Divert, our sniper, will lead uh, the pack. Can't get Wrath with us. Um, it would be absolutely fantastic to have uh, him, uh, but he's tired, so it's not going to work. But we're getting Sane as a Ranger, um, a Cole here um, as a Grenadier, a no-name character, but funnily enough, the highest level Grenadier that we do have available, because everyone else, specifically Mike uh, Bravo, is uh, heavily wounded. So whom are we going to take as the last person? Of course, uh, we're going to take... Um, a specialist. So in terms of just getting everything uh, ready, um, the specialist is going to take the uh, medkit. So here we go, medkit. We're going to uh, give everyone the weapons. Uh, like I said, this here is a non-modded run. So instead of um, and this being modded weapons, uh, these are the DLC weapons. Just mentioning that every single time so that people are not getting confused about it. Uh, we're um, taking the DLC weapons with us. For now, they are the best choice that we do have. Yeah, matter of fact, probably that cannon is better because it has an advanced stock in it. Okay, good. And that's really all there is. That's the entire team. Moderate difficulty means we're probably up against 12 to 15 enemies. Uh, rather 12-ish, probably. And uh, that means four packs. We do have a side trap on our side for extra uh, crates. So if we play our cards right, this is going to be a jackpot mission. All right, here we are. Perfect. Wonderful. The big challenge that we're up against is this is kind of an all-or-nothing deal. Uh, since we need to neutralize all of the enemies, um, if we were to fail, we're not going to get anything. And that really stinks, but uh, that's just the way it's being designed for now. That's one of the few things that I like better in uh, the Long War mod uh, You with a smash and grab missions. They have really found a nice way in between. Um, yeah, having risk and reward. Because with the smash and grab missions, essentially what you're doing is you're going to um, grab uh, certain crates. The more you can get, the higher the reward. And it sort of scales. Even for a lower number of crates, you're still pretty fine. Um, it's never like a complete disaster. But on the other hand, if you're getting a lot of crates, then of course it's a pretty rewarding exercise. 
This here, on the other hand, like I said, is pretty much do or die. If we're failing to do the mission properly, it's going to be a pretty bad. Uh, it's going to be a pretty bad day for us. Moving over here, I want a second person to take point on the rooftop. Probably by thinking about it, if it's possible, our specialist will go over. And for now, we're just going to overwatch. We know the first pack is coming from the north. So, that's the direction that we're going to take. So, the closest pack is over here. Given that we need to take high ground, I would probably say we're only taking one person as high ground. This is a pathway through the fence, so we're positioning ourselves over there. Same deal over here. What are we dealing with? Alright, so that looks like a stun lancer, fair enough. And uh, Sane over here can be the point person. No, just a little bit closer. Two stun lancers and the sector. Well, that's a moderately hard pack. Not going to lie, you can definitely see the increase in difficulty. We do have our flashbang on our sniper. Not the best uh, situation. We definitely want to start with the stun lancers. And I would like to trigger the pack, so not going to wait any longer. Nice, that was a brilliant start. We're being revealed, so they can now move in. At first, Advent deployed non-lethal stun units for crowd control and the occasional protest. We don't see a Could move over here for a flanking maneuver. Not a bad idea. I think we're going to do that. It could trigger another pack. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Good. Which kind of forces us into a more defensive uh, play, style, uh, play style than I would have liked. Good. Two stun lancers down. We are in full cover over here. Now the question of the day is going to be where is this here is the this is the way upwards. We got to deal with that stun lancer. That's why it's going to be a pretty nasty situation. Might as well position ourselves in half cover over here. Uh, just from a sprinting perspective, he could move all the way up here. If this is the stairs, then that would be the furthest away from the stairs, still thanking him. That's the other option. Yeah, I think we gotta be really careful. Uh, that is a, that's actually a good position. I think I'm going to stick with uh, that. And we're probably going to take the position over here. The stun lancer will take a shot. It's probably mind spin from the sector. Gotta somewhat resist it, elsewise uh, this year is going to develop pretty rapidly into a poor situation. Probably a mind control from the priest that's incoming, or a stasis. Both wouldn't be super good. Uh, same problem uh, in both cases. Yeah, and then 
uh, we will need to deal with these uh, with the Sun Lancer. So the Sun Lancer definitely needs to die. Moving over here. Just getting as much distance between us and them as possible. It's four points of damage. I think it's not enough to... Nah. We can't, uh, that's not securely killing him. It would be... It would be... 33% uh, chance to kill him with a grenade. So what we're going to do instead is taking a 70% chance. Yeah, that's a resurrection. Not the worst. Uh, that zombie will take a while to move over. That's okay. Mind control. Oh no, Holy Warrior. Well, that's even better. That is even better, because if we now kill this priest, that's a 3 for 1 deal. A sweet, sweet 3 for 1 deal. Alright. Very, very nice. So... Eight to ten, that's five to seven. We position ourselves over here, that's still in range of being flanked, okay. Just uh, trying to check our options for now. We somehow get this guy probably with a grenade if we're if we would be launching one. Can we get up here? Yes, we can. Yes, sir. That will be in the open. But the reality is, we're going to need to kill him anyway. So oh, this is not the end of the world. That might crit if we're playing our cards right. Did not. Still fine. Hundred percent hit chance, five points of damage. I think we're going to do that. There we go. That's a kill. Holy warrior kill deals feedback damage. Yeah, we haven't triggered him, uh, tr triggered the turret yet, uh, but we just killed three for one. Uh, the Sun Lancer will, anyways, charge in and take a melee step at it. As I used to say, Lancers got a lance, so that's just in their very nature. But we do have an option to get rid of him. Nicely done. Well, that's a good setup, and this is hopefully the kill. Yeah, look at that, guys. That was some clean XCOM right there. Two packs at once. No losses. Solid XCOMing. Going to deal with a tower in the most boring way possible which is since we are not on timed mission move in move out overwatch and overwatch and that's really it time for reload for everyone Good, so we killed, like what, a uh, pack of three and a pack of three, that's six down. We know it's 12 enemies, there is a tower, so after we dealt with the tower, that's going to be five more enemies afterwards. For now, the tower is our main target. 
Come on, Divot. Don't let us down like that. Four men, ballistic only, second month, already starts to stink. That is usually when all of the goodies come into play. When you uh, have almost started to uh, to research the magnetic weapons. So you will see more and more that we're now going to have problems just killing off units. Specifically the ones that have uh, armor. Yeah, we got three more hit points to go. Alright, got an overwatch and a reload. Come on, Divat. Well, we're eventually getting there. But here's the deal, I just don't want to use any further cooldowns or consumables to deal with the tower. So it's just slow but steady grind. Of course, minimum damage, yet again. By the way, by now, statistically speaking, he should have killed the tower almost twice. Good, here we go again. Come on, Divat. Oh, damn. I just overwatched unnecessarily. Oh. Luckily, the game didn't punish me too hard. I'm not sure why that happened, to be honest, it shouldn't have, because if you're in full cover, this here is a field where he couldn't have seen me. The first step does not trigger Overwatch, so I am very surprised to see that that has happened. Of course, completely unnecessary that it happened. I blame Divat partially for not hitting those shots. Oh my gosh, how is that possible? By the way, he has a two-third uh, chance to hit the shots and only a third chance to not hit them. Yeah, the real bad... Uh, portion about this is we're going to have another long-term injured personnel. Super unfortunate. Alright, finally he got his act together. Now. 
Whew. Good. Now, let's continue with the actual mission, shall we? Moving up everyone. And we're going into Overwatch. I think the last pack's probably in here. Not even sure if we're going to look at 12 enemies. That was a misclick, by the way. Okay. No harm, no foul. Moving up, I want to give Diva the chance to redeem himself. And with a squad side um, penalty on those really very long distances, it's going to be hard for him to hit anything. So we're giving up high ground and getting a little bit better position in return. Alright, so it's clear that the closest pack is right over there. So, what a probably, probably somewhere here or inside. Let's take a peek. Alright. Moving up, putting everyone on Overwatch. The enemies can't be that far away. They are probably here. Come on, move into our line of sight. Trigger the overwatch trap. Pretty sure that the enemies are right in front of the building. Apparently that's not the case. I'm just checking the different fields to see if they are somewhere here. It could also be inside. Hmm. Okay. Good, so we're going to move up. Levat is taking the high ground. Very nice. No trigger so far, that's great. Putting a second operative on high ground, and on the two frontliners will continue to stay here, Sane and our Grenadier. Okay, I am getting more and more sure that the enemy is actually like somewhere within here. Okay, so far so good. Moving out. Yeah, we're not going anywhere closer yet. 
Um, reloading and pistol overwatch because the overwatch with the sniper is pretty inaccurate. <clears throat> yeah, they are behind the starship. Which makes them starship troopers, if you think about it. That was a lame pun. Okay, so over watching. There is apparently movement from behind the starship. Getting into a slightly better position. Okay. Hmm. All right. Good enough. They walked into our trap. Just a single sector so far. Definitely took a few shots, and there are the starship troopers with him. Nice, the stock uh, paid for itself. All right, so that should kill two of them. A little bit of loot destroyed, I can live with that. Let's hope we can get some more promotions on to Divid. Oh, that was easy. Well, except the one screw up. Oh, yeah, he got his promotion. Wonderful. Sergeant. Except the one screw up, I think that was a reasonably good X commission. Yeah, I've played some clean XCOM and then Fat Finger at one turn and got beaten up. Alright, let's see how much XCOM is going to punish us for the injury. Hopefully not another 30-day injury. Ah, oh, 20 days. It's bad, but it is not too bad. We're going to go with Lightning Hands, just because it is very, very good. I would like to go for Shadow Step. Biggest problem is Sane is going to go out, uh, to be out for 20 days, which is very, very unfortunate. We got ourselves two sergeants, though. And let's see. Sufficient alloys, about 100 supplies. Um, 20 Elarium crystals, quite a few corpses, actually. So from a resource perspective, that was pretty successful. Got ourselves into uh, an area of a uh, lot of supplies. But we're somewhat lacking the intel overall. So there's another scientist, which is a must to get this guy. It's six days, um, seven days until we will have the school check ready, so that pl uh, ties out nicely. Which means we get the scientist and the school check, and then we can go for the next mission. So resistance radio is done. I already mentioned that we're not going to go for magnetic weapons due to the time constraints. We do not have anything on the golden path, so I am following up with my logic that probably, if anything, uh, getting hybrid materials and um, 
armor upgrades will be more helpful for us uh, than the um, weapon upgrades. Number one, armor reduces the amount of uh, wound uh, wounding time because the bonus hit points that you get from armor essentially uh, do not really increase the wound time a lot. And once you go under the threshold of bonus armor from your armor, then the wound time really uh, starts to uh, tick up quite a bit. So that's number one, super good and solves one of our problems. Number two, we get a second slot uh, and the option to get also a grappling hook with, um, uh, with uh, going for our special armor suits. So that is incredibly helpful. Got the hybrid materials, which is again also fine because now uh, we are free to go for plated armor. Uh, 32 days, that's a lot. Um, I'm not liking it, but we don't have anything else to do at the moment, so might as well do that. The other option would be the sectoid autopsy for mine shields. But I think we can do that a bit later. And what we said is we're going to start plated armor as soon as we do have the codex brain to research, which is the next big research. We're going to switch from plated armor to codex brain and yeah, just leave the plated armor for now. So we had quite a bit of um, quite a bit of time that elapsed. We're already in April 8th. Three more days for the school check, so April 11th, and that is when we're going to infiltrate. Good, we got ourselves a scientist. Substantial reduction of remaining uh, research time. So we're looking at only 24 more days, uh, which is great. We, you, you need to have reser uh, res um, researchers, elsewise, it's not going to look great. Probably need another engineer as well. So the next thing that we want is Intel uh, because uh, that's going to be our sparse resource and the school jack is going to be ready anytime soon. We're just going to start the Intel until the school jack is ready and then we're ending today's episode because the next episode is going to be the black side facility. Good, let's take a look whom we could take into the black uh, side facility. We're going with Divert, check, uh, check. Wrath, uh, check, uh, it's a good team already. Unfortunately, both Sane and Hayward, whom I would take, are not available, meaning we need uh, to get our Grenadier. Merlin Cole is going to be the third person for some more support. And then it's a question whether or not we go for a ranger or for a specialist. I probably would go for the specialist here. Um, ranger is also a pretty damn good idea for extra damage for the, from the shotgun. But a squatty ranger is so and so useful. They don't have um, the ability to run and gun yet. So yeah, that's most likely what we're going to do. Templar would have been, of course, also nice, but for now we're putting the Templar <clears throat> on the Covert Ops missions um, and maybe leveling them that way, just so that we do have another soldier available. Yeah, and that's really it. Um, what are we going to do with our projects here. We could go for a spark. The 150 supplies are definitely too much. So we're going to take something that is going to be helpful. Ammunition could be helpful since we don't have blue screen rounds. You know what? Ammunition could actually be really helpful. Um, extra grenades. Yeah, we don't have the mutant upgrade for grenades because we don't take the mutant autopsy yet. So we don't have plasma grenades. Um, acid grenade is uh, definitely good. The incendiary grenade uh, isn't too bad either. So yeah, every single grenade also would be an upgrade. Let's go with the ammunition first because it's more universally usable. 
Uh, Talon rounds would be good for the shotgun. Poison rounds would definitely be good uh, just to add some damage to our weapons. So experimental ammunition it is and we cannot afford any longer to have our um, to have our engineer there. Instead we need to continue excavating as fast as possible. So really a lot of parallel work here you can see 30 days. Uh, we only use that in order to really expedite uh, the um, school check. Now clearing alien debris here we probably need one or two more um, engineers for even more debris because we need those six to be cleared up. The next one, given that we are full of power, uh, or that our power cons consumption is completely at the max, would probably be... would probably be a power plant. Maybe we could use uh, the resistance order that gives us extra power. I think that we had that. It would give us two additional power. Uh, the Shadow Chamber, however, takes three if my memory serves me right, so that wouldn't completely solve that topic. Maybe we get um, a scannable plus one power. Elsewise, this here is going to be a power plant, and then we're going to go for the Shadow Chamber. Gosh, that's going to be... That's going to be... a pretty close call. Thinking about it, if we're now getting the Codex Brain, Codex Brain is researched. After Codex Brain, we can build the um, we can build <clears throat> the Shadow Chamber. Let's see something real quick. All right, so here's the deal. Um, I learned something. Uh, you are getting the Alien Encryption, which is the research that we're looking for from either school checking an advent officer or completing the black side mission so either way uh, works fine i don't want to bank on the fact that we maybe will get an advent officer in the next uh, mission so we're definitely going to go through the black side mission and matter of fact we're also going to use the school check because it's a one shot for advent officers and the codices are not that difficult to kill um, comparably easy um, at this point uh, if you know what you're doing. So that's okay. I uh, can then see how that'll take us uh, some more time to research. I think around probably um, I would guess 20 days at that point and that would then um, free up the shadow chamber. I was wrong by the way the shadow chamber costs five power and takes 20 days in construction. And the big portion is the Shadow Chamber really um, requires you to, um, to research a lot. So I am a bit scared that we might uh, end up not having enough time to research in the Shadow Chamber because there is the suit that we need to research. There is... Um, the avatar corp uh, the avatar corpse itself that we need to research then there is the gate that we need to research so that's three points of um, research um, and i think yeah that's i guess uh, that is that so those three points of research all of which probably take around 20 ish days it's not that fast specifically if you don't have enough scientists so what i am going to do is i'm actually thinking about whether or not it is uh, it is required for me to cancel the guerrilla tactic school because here's the deal clearing alien debris will take 20 days from now we're currently at what april um, 11 so that's end of april um, uh, we will need to build um, we will need to build a generator. Okay, that's fine. 10 days, no problem. We uh, Then we do have enough energy. So in 30 days, we're starting with the uh, shadow chamber. And the shadow chamber then takes another 20-ish days to build. So all of a sudden, we're uh, through April. Uh, we're through May. And we only have June left over for all of the research. 
which I think is not enough. If we're now kicking uh, 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 kicking away the guerrilla tactic school and instead get the um, order with plus two energy, uh, we have just enough to build the shadow chamber right away after we finish the next mission um, at the expense of not having squad upgrades anytime soon so that will take another month um, at least to to get those uh, but we would not have a problem with the actual research and we could uh, sort of power through that i think we're going to do that sucks um, uh, to cancel something uh, sucks to cancel something that you would otherwise um, keep. So we uh, were rewarded our supplies that we put into it. Um, I think almost all of them even. Yeah, all of the supplies. All, almost all of the supplies. I think, I think 70%. Uh, so the 30 supplies are really not the big deal. But... Um, the big deal is going to be able to do the shadow chamber yeah you can see i haven't completely planned it out beforehand but uh, i think the thought process here is helpful for those who attempted on legendary if you don't uh, do it on legendary on commander difficulty the build order that i've chosen is the right one uh, uh, resistance ring into proving grounds into gts and then continue you got to be pretty hard boiled if you want to do everything without a gts um, but it is what it is that's just how we need to play it on legendary thank you for watching see you all in the next uh, mission and uh, consider subscribing guys thank you take care bye bye